Right, so this video is going to be putting a new chain and sprockets on the VFR. It's not going to be so much of a this is how you do it because I've never done it before. This is going to be just a bit of a video recording on how I did it and how I got on with it. And if I uh, come across any obstacles, which I'm bound to at some point. Goose is going to come over and put the split link in the chain when I'm ready at that point. Because he's got the tool to do it. So, we'll have a go. We'll see what happens. Right, so today's video is going to be replacing my chain and my sprockets. Now, what I've found on this since day one, I've always had a lot of chain slapping. So, I retension the chain, go out, it's fine. Couple of days later, I'm getting the chain slap again. But what I found was I've got slack in the chain and then it goes tight. So I've got very little movement. If I move it on a bit more. It's then slack. So I had a look at the chain. What I did, the only way I could kind of find the problem, I've had to go through every single link. And what I found is link 15 after splitting it. So you can see there where it's gone tight. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So, I went through every single link to make sure it moves. And I've got that one there. And if you can see, it's, it's notchy. So that link is knackered by the look of it. You can actually feel the click in it. if I can get a better better shot of that you can't hear very well because it's raining but that's it it's very stiff that one's quite stiff and then they'd start loosening up I've tried WD-40, lubricating it, cleaning it, working it, prising it with screwdrivers, working it with the pliers, and nothing's doing it. So we're going to do it. I've never done a chain and sprocket before. Here's my kit. I've got the DID chain. This is from... Is it the company? Is it Hunters? Hunters Honda, I believe. And they've said this is the kit. So I've got my JT front sprockets, I've got my new rear sprocket, and I've got my chain. So what we've got to do, we've got to get this off. I've spoke to Kev Shed, and what I need to do is I need to get this cover off here to get to the front sprocket loosen these up slightly actually some of them teeth aren't looking too good actually on that sprocket so I think the chain has damaged the sprocket as well so I'd imagine the front sprocket's going to be just as bad so we're going to get this off but I don't think we take that off I think we take the speed sensor off and this whole thing comes out so I think we loosen that one off, we get the bike down, get it in gear, or get somebody to hold the back brake. We loosen the nut off on the front sprocket, loosen these off slightly, then I can just grind off the head of the rivet so we can get the chain off. So we'll have a go at that. Right, just before we take these off, I've actually read that apparently these bolts are all different sizes, so I've got to remember the order they've come out on. 
I've looked on YouTube and there's not a lot of videos about doing the sprocket and chain on a VFR 800 mines of 2008. There's videos on there about replacing the chain but they don't go through this whole process. So you never know, this might be the first one. It might go horribly wrong, I might end up having to phone Kev's shed for when I've got something wrong. Let's make a start. Right, so I think I might lay these out in the position they come out in. Right, so what I found is I've got all these out. There's one just here, but I couldn't quite get in. So all I've had to do is remove this bolt on the fairing, this top one up here, and the one down here. Just so I've got a bit more room. So that's quite a long one too. Jesus Christ, look at that in there. Look at the state of that. Well, that actually don't look too bad around the sprocket. That casing though is, that's horrendous. We've loosened this one. We've loosened off these. So I think all we need to do now is cut this chain off. This will be the fun bit. Let's get the grinder. Here we go. So what we need to do now is split that link apart. Yeah. There we go. There it is. So all these move nice and independent. This one. Ugh. That one moves a bit. This one here. Oh. See that one moves nice and easy. So there we go. Them two was the culprit. That won't bend any more than that. So I bet that was put in quite a bit of strain on the sprocket of all these. That. Look at that. I should have put my gloves on. I don't know if that's worn, I can't tell. Maybe you can tell me, is that worn? There's our nice new shiny one. Of the front sprocket. So we've cleaned the front sprocket. That's all the crap that come off it. There's bricks in there, stones, everything. We've left it soaking so it's looking a lot cleaner. We'll give it one more quick wash over. And then we'll blast it off and then we'll get it all put back together. I better clean that back up before I put it back for the wife. She'll go mad if she uh, has got to brush her teeth with her. There's more sludge coming out there. 
look at it that's got a brick in it as well and I'm using my old auto bright extreme bike cleaner which is fetching all this off a treat I'll clean that off for the wife she's got to brush her teeth in the morning there we go we've all talked up we've talked up front spocket 51 newton meters and we've done the rear sprocket nuts 64 newton meters so we can get this cover back on now and we'll feed the chain through then all we've got to do is put the split link on and try it out Yeah, I know what we did. We accidentally pressed the clutch lever, which pushed the piston out. Right now, I've got to try and do that with without it popping back out again, which is going to be fun. The slave cylinder, the piston has popped out so it wouldn't go back on the rod. So I've had to push it on as I've been doing it, but it was, it went on quite easy, it wasn't too bad. So I'm just gonna tighten it up a bit now. And then all we've got to do is put the split link in and be good to go. Yep, that feels normal. We've got Goosey with us. So we're gonna, hold, what is it, hold the tool up. So we're going to put the link in with this new tool. Yeah. And Afam, we've never used this one before. Somebody borrowed mine and broke it. So we're going to see if it goes. We're going to try this new tool out, new riveter. Get me that. So then, what you do then is this is what I do. That. I wonder if that's the stuff what's on the chain. No, yeah, I'd like to Could find it. Could do with buying that. I know, and then what I'll do is this. Put it, make sure. Okay. That's all that. Right. Put some better, more gloves. Give me another set of gloves because my. Oh, you got a rag? I'll just work this shit off. That's us. Right. Mm. Not professionals. Trout motions. So that cut out in the middle is where the rivets go, isn't it? Yeah, the rivets going to see how damage them when you're squeezing the plate on. And you get it in line with that little ridge there, with there. But if you can hold that. So that one's going on the back? Yeah. The same. The ridge up, that's it, like that. Where are we going to get the ball through? Because the pockets on. We fucking have to do it down here. We have to do it down here, don't we? Yeah, because I usually do them at the top. Yes, make them a licking chicken. See, you can tell we are professionals, mate, but we have to do it with anything. Yeah, mate, that's it, that's it. That's better. Done. Done. That's ready. Rack sucker! You got him, Pete! Hold on a minute, yeah. Just in case. I've never used one of these ones, this is different to what I've used. Pin me up, bro! Yeah, okay. I can I can see the back plate. Can you see it moving? Yeah. You need to be keeping your eye on the grooves. Can you see the groove from there? Do you know what I mean? Not properly. Yeah, I can see this one. I can see the one on the back. Hold on, let me just tighten this up. Okay. You're cooking on gas. Cooking on gas, bro. Let's see. No, that's got it. Now I'm only going to do the quarter thing. Okay. 
That's all I'm going to do. Of course. It was about 20.7 saying 21.2 so we're coming just a touch haven't we say another quarter of a ten we don't go far away macrodemus donkey uh, this is easier than that one he, put, he brings them on square do we see him doing two like yeah. you know what I mean that one is 20.7 that is. Bit of variation in the old yeah, Victor scale. That one is 20.7. This one is. Twenty point eight nine. That's like hardly anything. I mean we could just give it a cord a little bit of a twist or no, but I think that's within tolerance anyway. I'd say it is, isn't it? I mean, it's like 1.18. That's 20.71. So, yeah, we're well we're good. We're good to go. That's that. 20 points. Oh, I'll just take it like then. I like to faff about me. 20.74. Yep. Yeah, so we're good. We're so happy with that. That stage done. We're happy. Now, this part. No, no this is the bit where we, it's all going to go on. Done it before. We ain't done it. Oh my god, let me just get up because my foot's gone pins and sneagles. Yes, toe caps come <laughs> off. <laughs> I'll put a claim in for that. So I need to look at the rivet. You know that where the pin goes in? The cap. Can you see the gap yeah. between it? So I need to see when it goes flat. flat. Yeah. Please. Let's do it, Brad. Quarter of a turn, what it says in See, this this tool does the job, doesn't it? But it's just a bit more, mm. it's more long winded, isn't it? This one, right now, I don't put the light on it so I can see. Go, so uh, from there, he's in the, that's somewhat a quarter of a turn. Then he says, Do the top one again because I'm still on a bit of an angle. And what was we on 5.65? 5.66 So I think the tolerance is 5.55 to 5.85 Yeah, so we're on 5.65 So we're in the middle 6.5 on both, virtually One was 5.67, so we're within tolerance to the chain game. Okay, chain. I think you need two though to do it, that's just my opinion It's hard to do it unless we got you've got somewhere set up Be able to run in, it's fairly yeah. Like just that one and check the chain. More. A bit more. Yeah, a bit more. Stop. Little touch, I think. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Baron H from the same time, but yeah, that's that's all right. You happy with that? Oh, yeah. Seven, yeah, two, three. Right. three play, one and a quarter inch. 25 mil then it's 25 to 30 mil is it? Tells you on here. Yeah. Yeah. Or one and a quarter inch free play. Yeah, that's about one and a quarter. What's that? Only 70 odd miles? 74. Hey, it does seem a lot of the same thing. It's only a pinch bottle, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the pinch bottle. But actually, uh, it's a good wheel bolt. I can get that in there. So Okay, brisker. That goes in there, that goes in there. That feels better compared to the last. The last bag of shit bottle on it. Right then. Yeah, that's all right. You might need a bit of an adjustment once you've been on it. Grow these lassies. You've got my 25. We're done, it's nice and quiet, you know, making a noise. The old chamber's rattling itself to death. Give it a rev, Goose. Give it a rev.
the goose has just took it out for a road test because he's only been on it while it was clunky and already he says there's a massive difference so let's see what he thinks here he comes suits him actually I think he wants a VFR It sounds a lot better already. Don't sound like a tractor anymore. Good. That was alright. I probably now knocking away. Yeah. Couldn't it when you were driving, you couldn't? Uh, probably because it was up there. Uh, probably I think it's because it's loose, isn't it? Yeah, it's smooth, eh? Yeah. It's nice and smooth. Good looking bike, man. Yeah. Good. So we get the thumbs up. I need to do a chain now. We need to do yours. We need to do yours next. It's whether she's yours not look that bad, you just need to clean. Well, I mean, just check in. Nah, it's alright. It's good. Yeah, like, oh, look. You've left it out, man. Hold that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me find the link. It was about link 15. That was that one's gonna be the plane, this one here. Oh, yeah. That's why. So them I two there. Fused together, haven't they? Speed back. That's not a change of mine, mate. That was the baby. We're done. We're done, blood. Laters. We're done, he's off. I'm happy. It sounds nice, it drives nice. It wasn't as hard as I thought. We just took our time with that pin in that split link. Just wanted to make sure we didn't overdo it. So I imagine those out there who've done this before probably did it straight away, but it paid for us to take our time. So now at least we know how to do it. In your own time, Goose. No rush. See you later. See you later. Right.